Hey everyone, I'm Deb. Today I'm going to show you how to make envelopes and cards. Now, I know these look small, but it's time to tell you I'm actually a giant. This is a normal size envelope and card. I am a giant. How did I get rings this size? I know, it's crazy times out there and we're all running out of envelopes. I think it's Monday. Does it matter? No. So, as we know, it's the middle of the night. Now I'm not up because I have insomnia. I'm up because I need to find a fresh direct delivery spot. So, while my husband sleeps and I'm trying to provide food for the family, I am making these mini envelopes and cards, and I'm going to show you how I make them. How cute is this? I used to cut these by hand, but now I use my Silhouette Portrait Cutting Machine. You certainly don't need one, but boy, does it make life easier. So I've drawn an envelope shape in Illustrator, and then here I've made a square that's 1.5 inches just to make sure that will be the center of my envelope. All those flaps are going to fold into that and then the final size will be 1.5 square inch. I do the same thing for my note card. I just want to make sure my note card will fit within that 1.5 inch square and it does. I've imported a page of the note cards into my silhouette machine and I'm going to bring it over to the machine and print it. This machine is going to cut through card stock. The paper is stuck onto the silhouette mat. It's a sticky mat. Whatever you put on top of it sticks to it. Regular paper or cardstock, and there's a blade in there, and it cuts through whatever was on the screen. In this case, our note cards. The note cards are going to come out, and I'm going to peel them off of the page. So now I'm setting up my page for my envelopes. I'm going to choose yellow this time. So I've stuck my copy paper to the mat and I'm going to feed it into the machine. Here's my envelope template. I'm just gonna send it to the Silhouette machine to print. I'm peeling the paper away and I'll be left with six envelopes. I can't tell you how hard it used to be to cut these out by hand. You'll see there, I would cut around that. It would really hurt my fingers and there were always imperfections. Now I'm just going to fold them into the envelope shape. Line up a ruler to each side and I fold it in with a bone folder. If you didn't have a bone folder, you could just use your finger. It's just copy paper, so you don't need to make the deepest crease. Now I'm gonna get a scrap piece of paper and with a glue stick, just glue the right flap in and the bottom edge in. I put a little note card inside. Oh my goodness, this is such a cute little set. I can't take it. For the note cards, I just use a card stock. I have card stock in all different colors, but I find it's easier to write a note on the white, so I like to use my white card stock. For the envelopes, you can get more fun. Look how cute these look in different colors. You don't have a silhouette machine, which why would you? Why do I? I don't know. Thank goodness I found a use for it. You can just use zigzag scissors or scallop edge scissors. To me, it's just cute mini size. If you want to just cut a simple square, that's fine too. I just used a simple glue stick to uh, fold the envelopes over. I like this brand. It's Tombow. So thank you for watching. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. It's 1.30 a.m. These are actually bangle bracelets.